right, what's up everybody? This is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor bringing you another property tour. So today we are here in the west side of town, just three minutes from Summerlin. So today we are in a master plan community called Queens Ridge. This is a luxury neighborhood just east of Hualapai. And um, Wallapai is just the next road up here. This is a armed guard gated community within a gated community. So today we're, we are going to be touring this $1,190,000 home. That is the asking price. It is 4,190 square feet, four bedrooms, and it does have a den as well. Now let's take a look at this neighborhood. You do have uh, the mailbox right here, which is really nice. As you can see, we have sidewalks on one side of the road. Today is trash day. That's the reason why we had these trash cans outside and the roads have been resurfaced. So this is a really nice neighborhood here. Now, uh, Ram Park is just right up here and uh, you have nothing but shopping galore less than five minutes. Costco's, Target, Walmart, Kmart, and also some high-end stores too as well. We are near downtown Summerlin. So let's get into this property in detail. Let's see exactly what this property is all about. Now, real quick, I wanna give a quick shout out to Daki W. Law uh, with Nevada Real Estate Corporation for allowing me to do this video tour here. Now this home is facing north and the sun exposure is gonna be more towards the back and on the west side here of the home. Property does have a pool. It is located off the uh, golf course, I believe but we'll have to double check that. As you can see, we have a three car garage and also a door here into the den. Let's take a look at this. We've got the nice texture. The exterior has been repainted, which is really nice. You do have a nice courtyard too as well. Now also, if you guys want the 3D tour, um, I did post this earlier. I think it was on Friday for Matterport, which is the uh, 3D, okay? Allows you to walk the property. Some of you guys already have walked the property. So here's the uh, entryway here. Nice vaulted ceilings. Love that window here. So you got that courtyard right there. It was really nice. And we have a nice solid eight foot door. This is a 36 inch wide door, which is really nice. And Take a look at the nice tile work here. You got 18 by 18 travertine tile plus marble tile as well. This room will take you into the office or the den. We got 12 foot ceilings. I'm gonna get the light on the back side of me here. Now, you know, I'm not too sure where that one door leads to, but I believe that door that where we exit was for that third car garage. So this room right here, we do have a phone jack. Here is your, um, what do you call it? outlet? Forget the name of that outlet. Totally brain fart, I hate when that happens. Okay, right here we have our cable, so that's where your TV will go. Actually, that would be your half hot, which means that would be your plug for your lamp. So let's take a look at the uh, orange peel texture here. It is two-tone paint on here. It has been repainted. Now coming into the, let's see the living room. Very large on the living room. So in the living room we have the uh, diamond cut on the 18 by 18 travertine tile. But for some of you guys that have been watching this channel for some time, you know that the travertine tile is pretty brittle and it breaks pretty easy. However, this one takes a lot of work and effort because take a look, you have a border of a two inch that runs all the way across, which is very interesting. And also you have a four inch um, bull nose, right? On the baseboards all the way around. So that takes a lot of work to do. So just to cut the tile, you're probably almost looking at $3 a square foot just to do that alone. This would be your formal dining area, okay? Got some nice windows. 
Now, the other thing is that I noticed the texture on here. Take a look at it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it gives you that plaster look. But this is not real plaster, but gives you that faux plaster look, which is really nice. You got the nice tray ceiling. Looks like a one foot tray. And you have a six inch crown, which is really nice. And your chandelier would go right there on your J-Box. You have some nice decorative artwork that would go into these little uh, nooks or niches here. So let's come into the kitchen area. Now the kitchen has been completely remodeled. Now take a look at this. I do love this island for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, we have a three inch on the quartz. Then we have an eight inch on the waterfall. And I love how they folded this uh, quartz on over to the, do the inside. And you got your nice tile work, which is really nice. Now one thing, attention to detail, what I would have probably done to make it true custom, I would have just did all this too as well. All right, make it all look one piece. But this is still nice though. They did a really good job. So we have a 36 inch cook countertop by KitchenAid with a five burner, okay? No griddle, but that's okay. You have a nice hood as well. Bunch of can lighting, which is really nice. And you have the built-in refrigerator, okay? This looks like it's pretty much brand new. You have your double stack on the oven, okay? And this could also be used as a microwave, which is a convection, I think. No, this is just both uh, an oven, so there's no microwave on here. Now these drawers, the kitchen drawers, do look like they are the original shakers to the home. So it looks like they have been furbished, repainted, right? And also new hardware. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, they are just using regular side glides with the staple MDFs, fast closing cabinets. Now let's take a look at this butler's pantry area and coming into the pantry. So we have a total of what, five shelves, which is pretty decent. Okay, six panel door. Looks like the panel doors have been replaced with the hardware too as well. So the original desk, looks like they did the backsplash. Let's see if there's any LED lights underneath. No LED lights underneath. However, they did paint underneath the cabinet, which is really, really good. So you do have the nice crown and this is all original. Now let me show you. A couple things here. You can tell it has just been repainted. Now, there's two type of paints that you can do to the cabinets. You can spray the paint on or you can do the brush. If you're looking more for that wood texture, then you're gonna use the brush, right? You would actually do it by hand. However, uh, this one is sprayed. I prefer the spray on, especially if you're gonna do more of a modern. Uh, the other thing is that uh, Rust-Oleum does make a product that you can use where you stand the cabinets and you use that certain type of paint to actually stick to your cabinets. However, um, that's one thing that I've seen and I've done this before where uh, I use a certain type of paint that it says it's good for wood, but I did sand it and, and it didn't work. Uh, hello? Yes. Can I help you with something? Uh, I measured the windows. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. It's you, you guys threw me off, but that's okay. How long are you guys gonna be? Well, this this is gonna take me a good thirty minutes. But no, no, no. Go ahead. Go go do your measure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So. We got distracted, they're gonna measure the windows. You guys are replacing the windows, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, what they're doing is replacing the windows because of the condensation. But these windows actually slide out, and I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. But let me go back to the, uh, the cabinets, because the cabinets were refurbished. Now with these shakers, what it tends to happen, and I talk about this all the time, is that these tend to flex and they start to move, as you can see how it's moved up here on the, uh, the cabinets here, okay? But this could be easily fixed 
by shoving a toothpick and just repainting the cabinets. The herringbone backsplash looks like has been completely redone. However, the outlets on here are all original uh, outlets. So stainless steel, dual basin. Uh, I prefer probably an undermounted sink, but this is actually still pretty clean. Now let's take a look if they redid the plumbing here. So it looks like a brand new garbage disposal too as well. Keep in mind the home inspector will take a look at all this. So we have a nice quartz. Okay. Now one thing that I would have done was with this quartz, probably drop a waterfall here too as well to kind of really give that modern look. But that's just those extra touches. All right, man, have a good one, okay, guys? Now, we talked about this. Uh, <laughs> you guys want to debate me all the time, and that, that's completely fine, okay? On the quartz, okay? Can quartz stain? Yes, quartz can stain. The good news is it could be refurbished the right way. Now, let's take a look, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with this, but can you guys see that yellow stain here? So what happens is when you start spilling like wine, even with um, granite, same thing. We talked about this all the time. Now let's take a look at the large family living area most of your time. You do have a nice 48 inch um, fireplace there. Definitely nice and open. Look at this. Love that. You know what? We're going to go straight back out here. All new cabinets. I'm sorry, not new cabinets, but all new hardware. So this is the original door. The door has been painted. Now coming outside. Okay, a couple things. The outside looks pretty clean. Looks like what they did was repainted the concrete. Uh, the cooling deck is a little bit etched. Uh, that's the thing about this cooling deck right here. If it is not etched really well, what happens is uh, the paint will start to peel off. But I mean, these, these are just like minor repairs. It's not a big deal. Now, let's take a look at this pool. I love the color of this pool. Ooh, nice and blue. So it looks like they repainted this pool. Wow, doesn't that make you just want to jump in? All right, let's take a look at this thing. All the way around. Okay. Look at that. It's gorgeous, huh? We're going to go back this way. So this property is located on a golf course. Now, keep in mind, I talked about this a few times, but this is something that you need to be aware of. Um, when you're purchasing a property that's located on a golf course, you understand that golf course could possibly be sold to a developer. Next thing you know it, they end up building houses. Then there goes the value of your home. Okay, let's take a look at here what we got here. So we have the side access to the garage. You do have some nice pop outs. You got two air conditioning units. Okay, and here's your filter. Now, this does not have a, a what do you call a heater on the pool, which is it's not a big deal. Okay, now it looks like the pool was added in after the fact. How can I tell? Just by the electrical lines underneath. Uh, the AC units here are the original, it looks like. Now, when it comes to air conditioning units, a lot of these AC units now are or was uh, R22. Okay. Then from R22, the new refrigerant required for all new ACs to be built, according to my AC guy. Now, some of you guys know that I've been in air conditioning uh, years back. Now, they are using the refrigerant uh, for... 10. However, if you do have an AC unit that is uh, R22, be careful because a lot of these AC guys are gonna, going to try to sell you. If something's wrong with your AC unit, what they'll do is they'll fear monger you. And I'm telling you how it is because I used to be in the air conditioning business. What they will do is fear monger you and say, hey, look, AC is broken. However, this is R22, but we have to change it. So we have to replace your whole system. No, that's BS. They don't have to change out the whole system. There is a 
refrigerant, I think it is um, 4, 407, right? Which is a converter, I believe it's called. So you might want to check up on that, right? On that converter, so that way you can just recover the R22, put in the 7, uh, 407, which is the uh, recovery, then you should be good to go. This looks like a brand new hot water heater here. And it looks like they were having some problems with the AC unit probably or somebody was tinkering with it because here's the cover. And it looks like we had a tankless water heater. Not a tankless water heater, but a soft water. So that tells me their original was a soft water heater here just by identifying this, right? And this is gonna be my best guess that and when they came here to rehab the home or clean it all up to get ready for a sell, instead of leaving it here, then going through the whole process of the inspection, find out it doesn't work. When they know it doesn't work, now the, sell, the buyers are uh, negotiating the buyers to fix it, it wouldn't make any sense. So this is how smart the seller was probably. Hey, let's just take this out. And there's nothing wrong with this because here's the thing. You're buying the property as the way you see it in the, as the condition, right? Right here's your pressure um, valve to the home for your main line. Now let's go back inside. One thing that we didn't do is go into the courtyard. Okay, always having problems with these damn doors. So here's your main courtyard. You have the nice stamped concrete. You got the river rock, you got the windows. Nice. Now at a hundred and, oh I'm sorry, $284 a square foot for this community is really not bad of a price for this neighborhood. So we have our half bath, looks like we had a brand new toilet and a nice vanity. That looks like a product from Lowe's or Home Depot. Now this has a little nook here. I'm not too sure what you would do. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you would like more information about this property, click in the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to uh, visit lvhomeexperts.com. This is your uh, utility room for your auto and video. We do have a bedroom downstairs, which is a junior suite. Now there is no light, but they do have a J box right up here too as well. Good news is that uh, you do have cable in this room and here's your bathroom here. So now we have the original cabinets, brand new countertops, right? With a vessel sink and LED light fixture. Now this room's a little bit small, but this is good enough for your guests. Now I do love this shower. Let me see if I can get the light on my backside here. Let's see if you can see that, here you go. I love that tile work, however, I'm about 5'7". I think I'm 5'6", but I like to say I'm 5'7". Okay. Here is just an extra bedroom. You know what I would do with this? Check this out. Okay, you see how this, see how these have this little bedroom here? Or that little room? That wall is probably, oh no, you know what? Never mind. That's to the bathroom. Huh? Ah, I thought I had an idea, but it didn't work. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. So carpets, looks like they had redid the carpets, 36 inches on the carpet. And I do love the uh, six inches here on the, the wood trim here, which is really nice. Kind of gives that elegant feel. Uh, looks like the original rods. Let's take a look at it from here on this landing. Gorgeous, right? So then you got the Romeo Juliet uh, balcony. Again, you got two steps on this landing. And all these banisters have been painted. And we have a nice straight edge on the 
six inch baseboards here. Coming into the laundry room, we have vinyl. Looks like the sink here, stainless steel, which is nice. And, okay, very odd. But obviously this is an older home, so your dryer goes here and your washer goes here. I love the fact that they do have a drain pan here. However, um, these holes are the, your supply lines for obviously it's hot and cold. They probably tie this here and run these holes down here, right, just in case of this uh, leaks. What tends to happen is after a while, like the valves, the... Um, the bearings inside get a little bit loose, right? And they start to leak. So a lot of times uh, when you see a home that doesn't have washer and dryer, sometimes they'll take this loop and just tie it into this loop. So it's one hose. So that, that's a couple indicators. It could possibly be leaking. So if you're doing a home inspection, make sure your home inspector actually takes these off to see if this is actually leaking. But if it's not, this is just a good habit to have or a good habit to do just in case if you did have these off one day, then uh, it did start to leak, right? The other thing is typically with the washers and dryers, as you get a new one, you're probably not going to use these holes because these holes are about 150 bucks. And normally when you get a new washer and dryer, you're always going to get a brand new hose too as well because those holes are made for those washer and dryers. Now we do have, looks like 30 um, inch cabinets on the top. They're not even 36 inch cabinets, okay? You do have your uh, attic access right here. So your that tells you that your furnace is right there. Now, I'm going to go into the master a little bit last here. Love the fact that we do have windows here. We have storage off to the left. Bam. Okay. Now we have storage here again. Okay. You got your TV outlet right there phone jack so we got nine foot ceilings okay and again we have our Romeo and Juliet balcony take a look how nice this neighborhood is And you have your standard um, closet, two by eight. Now, it's definitely missing some hardware here. Typically, you would have the round hardware here. But I mean, just stuff like this is very easy to negotiate. So don't be deterred from a home like this. Yeah, this one has a pocket door. I do love pocket doors. With the pocket doors, what's cool about it is, number one, uh, you have to frame them in. And number two is it's hidden. And you should be able to pull this out like this. See that? Now eventually what happens is the pocket doors, especially these type of pocket doors, you have a railing or like a guide right here. I don't know if you guys can see this guide. This guide will actually end up scratching the door. So especially when it's loose like this, you can definitely tighten it up where it's just nice and smooth. But these are the coolest things as far as to save uh, some space. Now, there goes Chuckets with the new merch right here. Uh, you know. That's an upgrade. So if you guys want to get your merch, all you got to do is just go ahead and click in the link in the description below, you know, help support the channel. I really do appreciate that much love to all the people that have been supporting this channel. Uh, I think we're at 172,000 subscribers and it's all because of you guys. That is right. I really do appreciate it. Much love. Peace. Why am I saying peace? I'm not ending the video. So it looks like we have the original cast iron tub on here. And they did tile all the way up to the top, which is really nice. Okay. And a brand new toilet. Uh, got the vessel sink. Obviously, this is a Jack and Jill. Okay. LED light. We're going to come back out of this room. Come back in this room. So this one right here, we have a three rocker switch. 
Based upon the three rocker switch, what that tells me is because we have a half hot here, okay? And this is pre-wired for ceiling fan and also the light for the ceiling fan. Also, the other thing is that uh, one thing I want you to take a look at um, the texture. Once you lay the texture, the texture would never be the same. So a good home inspector should be able to identify if uh, there was holes cut into um, the walls. Now these two rooms, they're, they're average about 13 by 13, so it's a both decent size here. So it looks like here's that hardware that I was talking about was missing on the other one. Again, those are very easy to fix. Standard 2 by 8 on the closet. Now, I'm going to take you guys out to the master bedroom. And the master bedroom is like super, super awesome, especially with the, uh, the bathroom. Ooh, take a look at this. Oh, my chuckets. Oh, my chuckets. Did you guys get that? <laughs> All right, so this room right here is 21 by 18. So it is a very decent sized room with a 8 foot slide. Okay. Looks like your TV would go right there. Your retreat or your couches or something would go right there. Okay. I do definitely love the crown. The only thing that, that they don't have here is the four can lighting. But remember, during that time period or during this time period, because the home was built in 2000, you know, lighting wasn't a big factor like how it is now with these newer homes. Lighting is such a main key component. Okay. Now, this back here, I believe on this one, was actually a golf uh, course, but there was some sort of litigation that went through, and this is where I was telling you about, but now it's just all desert. So what they did here was on the deck... They laid tile, okay? You can somewhat see the strip down there. Look at that. Let's go back inside. Show you guys the bathroom here. So the bathroom is completely separate. You come up two steps and take a look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that is a hell of a bathroom. Now, they did a really, really good job on this design, on this bathroom. I'm very pleased. So, obviously, they couldn't do a zero threshold on here. Coming in, the bathroom, take a look at this. You got a rainfall shower head. And this is very unique. They have one here on the side here and the side here. So, the problem with this, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, this is like on an angle because it's on the side here, right? Once this water flows, you have to have enough pressure where it brings it out more. If not, it's just going to flow right about here. So if it's flowing right about here, that means am I taking a shower like right here? Does that make sense? Like, okay. Well, I mean, if I go right here, the shower is going to hit here, but I mean, you're kind of like close to here. So, that tells me that you're probably forced to use the overhead showers, which is fine. It looks like they pre-wired and they did the LED lights, which is really nice. And they came in here and, and installed the Monin programmable, which is really nice. I do love this. They had the right concept. However, I think these are just a little bit close. I don't know if they could not have added it right here, right, and higher and brung it out more. That is very unique. Let me know in the comments below. Again, these are just my opinions. And again, I'm just a YouTuber. This does not mean anything. All this was aftermarket completely redone. Okay. This is really nice. They did a really good job. And I love the focal point as you walk right in. You do have the floating uh, vanity. And I love this mirror. This mirror right here should be the mirror that lights up. Let's see here. Nope, this is not the mirror that lights up. Okay. Tell me that there's two toilets, baby. You got his. Remember, if you design a custom home, 
You got to have two toilets. That's going to definitely be on my custom list. Two toilets. Look at that. Head of its time. Now let's take a look at these drawers here. It's got that European style cabinet. Now this is not quartz. This is like some sort of plastic. Okay, you got the moaning. Then you have your two walk-in closets. And I love the fact that you do have his and hers with a window right there. Let's come back on this side. And take a look at this. You have the same thing, but in reverse. And here's your second attic axis here. Okay. Cool. And one thing I forgot to point out. Skylight, which is great. Cool. All right, y'all folks know how I like to finish this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you don't have a realtor, we definitely love the opportunity to earn your business. If you are just in the market, just getting started to look at homes, visit lvhomeexperts.com. It is a great website to get started your home search. Also, let me know in the comments below if you think this property is definitely worth the asking price of, what did I say this asking price was? 1,190,000. If you are interested in this home, property taxes are $7,221 with the earnest money deposit of $10,000. Okay. HOAs are $403 a month. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it for a neighborhood like this. Uh, also, keep in mind this neighborhood does have um, a basketball court. A clubhouse facility it is full guard gated okay parks barbecue area so I mean there's a lot that this neighborhood has to offer and at the end of the day we all should be living like this for real look it's all about hard work okay trust me I'm a testimonial to that our work does pay off folks other than that thank you so much for tuning in I'm Chuck it's with simply Vegas and have a blessed day